It sounds crazy when I say it out loud, but this is our new home, Kimberly Joe. Until this year, we hadn't even set foot on a narrow boat. We are Tony and Sonia, and after more than 20 years of teaching, we thought you only lived once, and it was time that we had some adventures. We would love it if you came along with us. An eventful Sunday? Yeah. An eventful Sunday morning. So we stayed at Shepparton outside the, what's the name of the pub? Thames Court. Outside Thames Court. Um, and as you saw in the video, we was having some trouble with our batteries and a little bit of trouble with the oil leak. So we did want to leave yesterday, um, but in the end we thought we'd stay one more night. Unfortunately, it's a 24 hour mooring. <laughs> um, we tried to ring the council, but we couldn't get an answer. And then this morning we wake up and it's like the equivalent of a parking ticket on the window. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. So, um, we we'll just have to wait and we'll see. It says like maximum f fine, 500 pounds, but surely for like, what was about hours. 18 hours at most, it won't be. And we did have a but reason. As soon as we got sorted out, we were on the move again. Yeah. So, so we've left there now. We're only, we're only moving down the way. We've got table books. I have emailed them. Yeah. But it's spun us out a bit, hasn't it, so? Yeah, I'm stressed now. <laughs> um, I'm stressed. This is nice though, here. Yeah. So we'll just that way round. Doilies. Doilies. Doily Island. And there's boats that have been round this island, like literally all the way around. It's wall to wall, narrow boat. Just, just right in front of the boat, yeah. mate. And they've also got some suicidal, suicidal canoeists who literally. Just, just move, move straight in front of the boat. <laughs> Let's see. Are you aware we're coming through? So they've literally just pulled out in front of us. Like I say, you've been full morning so far, now they've oh, moved off to the side. So if we'd have carried on at the same speed, we would just hit them. They just came straight out, straight <laughs> across the river. So, we're about to say, we're not going far, there's like this cut through on this right hand side, um, and we want to get a little bit of diesel, so we're going to park up near the place we're going to get diesel tomorrow, and we booked in for a Sunday roast at the, I'm just looking at the book. The Anglers. At the Anglers. Um, and I think I'll probably not be looking at the camera, I'll try to look at the camera length more. I can't look at the camera into the sun. Yeah, so that's our morning so far. Stressful. It's stressful, but off we go. Nothing we can do about it now. We did a lot of um, messaging around yesterday with regards to batteries. Oh, yeah. Stuff. We'll probably put that probably on the next video, or maybe even on this one. But, yeah, we've been doing a bit of research on batteries. We've narrowed it down to two possibilities, lithium or... Lead carbon. Lead carbon. And we're, we're edging towards lead carbon. So you've got some phone calls to make. Spent a lot of time yesterday sort of trying to sort it out. Yep. Anyway, not going to go all about it, not going to let it ruin our day. No. Nope. It is what it is. Come along with us on a very short journey. Woo. Bye for now. Our suicidal canoeists just got shouted at down there as well because they went just bloke fishing and they just went straight across these lines. <laughs> Don't know what's going on today. So they didn't even look, they came off the bank, went straight in front of the boats. So we've been coming along for a little while now. And then they just came off the bank and went straight across the front. Is that yeah. right? You had to like, turn I've the been, engine practically off, didn't you? Turn you off. I uh, went into um, drift and sounded the horn. But yeah, you just, they were quite unpredictable, those three. Normally they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, There's one bloke in particular. They keep a line, but he was like all over the shop. And then when a boat was coming the other way, he was coming in this way. A boat's coming this way. He's like, right, move over, mate. Madness. So that's our morning today. It's not far at all. For about 20 minutes, I'll say. We come round the pub just through there. Called the Anglers, which is where we're going to go for Saint Lee today. A roast dinner in the Anglers, just there. There's also another pub just through the gap there. So this is our mooring for the next day, or two maybe. Who knows? And we're off again. Yep, it we're is. <laughs> we're off again. What day is it? Monday. So it's Monday, um, and we need to get some fuel. Fuel. And Sonia was worried about filling up because we might have begun on the tidal, but we might not go on the tidal, so now we're going to fill up. We will explain it all at yeah. some point. So I'm probably. Gonna, it's not windy today. I'm going into the marina for the second time. Yeah. We've looked at where the fuel pump is. Not that I'm paranoid. So, fingers crossed, it won't be another gone with the wind. 
No, no, um, me. I'm going all over the place. Look, I'm not even looking. So yes, it's, it's just rivers wide. It's just here as well. It's only just around this little corner, so we're not far from it at all. But so. we're not going to fill right up, are we? Because it's quite expensive down here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Reading is the cheapest apparently, so we're just going to top up with a little bit. See us through the next week or two. Yeah, and we're thinking we might go down to like Hampton, Kingston, come back, and head back for the Oxford, and then back up the Oxford. We'll see. That's our latest. We keep changing our mind. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Who knows? One day to the next. Yeah, I've right. got to go because something's coming out of that marina. Come with us. Was it sun? It was all right, actually. They were very good here. They didn't make me reverse into the pontoon to get the fuel. No, nope, that they, was good. They brought it down the gunnels, which was really nice. Yeah. Although lifting the boat out just as we were reversing was a little <laughs> bit cruel. <laughs> but we got out. There were no dramas. Yep. No I, panics. I pictured us drifting underneath the boat as it was being carried <laughs> into that space. But no, no bother at all. And so now we're just coming back out very nice little marina you wouldn't even know this was here from the side you would not know it was here um, and then we're off to Hampton Woo! brand new place every day is a brand new place it is every day yeah we are we are getting what are we getting some uh, a little bit movement tired so we don't get because of the way the mornings work on the Thames they're every like, 24 hours 24 hours unless you pay like a fortune and then uh, so you have to move the very next morning, so you don't really get a chance to chill out or, or explore an area or no. enjoy the place. It's like you get there kind of one o'clock, two o'clock sometimes maybe, you're more up and then it's like, oh, we've got to be up early to go again tomorrow. To get a mooring in, in uh, the, the next, next place. One. Yeah, so you're forever like, oh, well, where have we got to go to? What, what time have we got to go? Where, how far is it? Are there moorings there? Do we have to pay? It just becomes like one after another after another. Whereas on the canals, you just pull up, you know you've got a good few days there, you can do some jobs on the boat. It's like we've still got the batteries, the oil, the hatch, you've got all these things we want to do. But you can't spend long enough in one place to do it. You can't plan where you're going to be. No. So you can't make plans with family, which is what we actually intended to. We said, oh, we're going to be on so we're going to be here at this time because it doesn't work like that. No. You can't guarantee you're going to be there. So, so that's kind of made, that's why we've sort of changed our plans a little. <laughs> So what we're thinking is there's a little bit of hot weather coming. It'll probably come just as the school holidays finish, <laughs> if my experience as a teacher tells me anything. Um, so what we want to do is we want to be down the other end of the Thames and the start of the Oxford for the nice weather, because there's really, really nice places where you can stay for a few days. Like even Abingdon, Abingdon was wonderful for a sunny. You can have a swim in the water. So we're kind of thinking we're going to head back in that direction, but do a couple of long cruises probably along the way. I only stop at places we want to stop. Yeah, um, we felt like we've had to stop everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and you don't just don't get time to do it all. No, it is hard work, and it's like. But the cruising on the Thames is lovely. Yeah. The actual cruising part of the Thames is really cool. And you also have the war between the cruisers and the narrow boats. <laughs> There's a different mentality, I think. Yeah, it's like West Side Story out here. <laughs> you see narrow boats and <coughs> cruisers going towards each other, clicking their fingers. <laughs> How <laughs> <laughs> have you gone that far? Oh, I know. Gosh, this but, might get but it's like with the moorings. So the cruisers hate the fact that narrow boats take up a massive space at the moorings, and then narrow boats hate the fact that the cruisers only leave cruiser spaces between each other and refuse <laughs> to move. So yeah, it's been it's been entertaining, if nothing else. Yeah, it's quite funny. Most of the people we met actually have been really lovely, haven't they? They have been, yes, on. Really lovely. Yeah. But so, yeah, there are. There have been a couple of incidents, I think, that have just been. Yeah. Right, it's not necessary, is it? <laughs> but now, off we go. Anyway, pulling out. Pulling out. Back never. Pulling out, never the safest method, son. Tony. What? 
Oh, I was talking. To, I was talking about boats. I don't know what you're talking about, son. It isn't safe because you don't know what's coming up. No, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. I don't know where you took that. Honestly. Look, there you go, there's a danger already. Oh, the canoe yesterday, oh my God, that <laughs> bloke was on a suicide mission. <laughs> clear so we're going down here very very slowly hoping that you can turn right at the end there but it really isn't very clear at all but hopefully you go right at the end here and then left and it's the lock very unclear though eh some very unclear can you not tell from all the furrowed lines on my face and my squinty eyes <laughs> Amazing little like houses here though. Not even little, this is like a full blown house. Oh, yes. There we go. So there's a gap. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't particularly clear. No. And one book, one book was absolutely useless, it didn't say anything about it. But we are through. Mosley boat club. distance you can see Hampton Court and just on the other side of that wall is Hampton Court Palace and we're going to try and work out how long we have we get to spend here and we're going to have a look at the signs in a second yeah it's nice the only thing being it's a curved mooring so half the boat is out from the water but you can't beggars can't be choosers so we've got most of the boat against the wall there's not much to choose from in terms of moorings. So there's Hampton Court, the castle. There's the door into the castle, just through the wall there. And we'll come round, carefully go down these stairs. There's our boat. So here's our boat. The geese all just turned up. Wondering if Sonia's got food for them. All the Canadian geese just here. Oh, what's going on? Can we? Can we? And that fence just there is the edge of the castle. Yeah, so this is where we are moored. Just 
about there. At the end of the gardens. Imagine all the royal barges pulling up, can't you? And just getting out, and that's how they used to come down from London. There's the palace, there's the princess. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! So, yeah, the royal barges would come down here, drop off the Queen, a little bit of holiday. It's Henry VIII's big place, wasn't it? He used to love it, I think. Henry VIII. I am, I am. Our lovely morning at Kingston. The uh, town is literally just there, uh, and the plan is we're going to stay here for one night and then those moorings over there by the park tomorrow. So, today we're going to go into town and tomorrow we'll go into the park. Sounds like a plan, so we're going to head off in that direction. There's like a fish and chip shop just there. Lovely. So, in our mooring just over there in that gap had a nice little walk around Kingston cut the beers well one beer and then we just came straight across the water to here that really nice morning you can see down there chairs are all set up and there's the bridge over towards Kingston So here's our mooring. You can see right through the boat through the hatch, actually where we were moored before. And I just uh, got music which I had to turn off because obviously copyright. Sonia's behind me and she's just watering her plants. Before they die. It's always a good idea, water them before they die, yep. I've moved in, so Sonia's moved over a chair because in that way she gets the full service of the bar um, without having to move. So, can I, yes, can I get you anything? Yes, please, darling, I'll have a drink. How old would you like? Have a beerio, please. A beerio, I'll go get you a beerio. Don't you move. I'd have a gin and tonic, but I've got no ice. Yeah, and no way of getting ice. Mm. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. I can't even begin to describe how nice it is. It's a stunning day, or well, stunning start to the day. Um, we think we're going for a lock, but you can just see here that this scrape has taken it right back down to the metal. So what we're going to do is put on some what's on? Red oxide. Yep. And then hopefully that will protect it until we can get some blue paint. Yeah, so Sonia's just going to have a little wander around the boat. And There's just... a couple of little marks. I think where the locks, <coughs> the jetty things, the pontoons, sometimes we're a little bit higher, or where we more might be a little bit higher for a narrow boat, and we get kind of, if we get pushed underneath it, this must have happened, how it happened but I don't know when. Because we're quite careful, we try to be careful, don't we, but you just can't. No. Another reason not to pay thousands of pounds to have it painted. Oh well, yeah. It's not a proper job, it's just to stop it going rusty. It's going to make it look stabby though. 
It's going to be nice scabby looking than a silver line there. <laughs> Done. It's done, set up today. Umbrella, bungee straps, and just chilling out in the sun. Scotchio! There's Tony supporting the England's women today. Trying. Trying. Got the England top on and everything. But the internet keeps cutting out. So, keeps getting interrupted. Picnic time! <laughs> Our first bona fide picnic. This one's been wanting to do this for ages, isn't you? I've been wanting to do it for ages. Tony doesn't. He's not a picnic fan, are you? No, but I like doing it because you like doing it. I do like a picnic. Look at that. Not bad way to spend the afternoon. So there we were on our lovely little walk into the park. And guess what we spot? Celebrity. Yep. Will's way. Will's way. So we've got to do this. Filthy thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so sorry for the wind noise, but uh, different camera today. Just on our phones. Here we are in Bushy Park. And the deer are just laying in the grass. Having a wonderful time. So close. And loads of antlers. It's <laughs> just weird. It's weird. Over there as well. And there's another little patch of them over there. I don't think you can see them. Their antlers just poking above the long grass. I think that is the name for a group of deer as well. A patch. Patch of deer? Yeah, I think they call them patch of deer. Herd, isn't it? Oh no, I thought it's short. <laughs> I know you're only joking and just being annoying. <laughs> but over there, there's a fence around the tree. Must be a tree of some significance, we should look that up. Oh no. All well, the ladies hang out. There are no antlers here. Cocktail night. Initially we thought they were just um birds. Yeah. But they weren't, they were just waggling their ears in the in the air. <laughs> they got a couple of ladies over there signing. Or a different breed. These aren't spotty. So it's that time again, end of another vlog. Um, Bushy Park was amazing, I've got to say. Yeah, it was lovely to see the deer. It was, it was really weird actually, just seeing deer lying around. Yeah, and there was these warnings about not going. Like approaching them, but you couldn't help but go within about three foot of them. It was, in, uh, yeah. it was incredible, incredible, and they weren't bothered at all. No, so it's brilliant. And I've got to say, Kingston, wow, what a morning. That is one. <laughs> I actually wish we could have stayed there longer, longer. in the end. We had to get back um, because of another festival, which you will see in the next video. Yes. Um, so, thanks for staying with us. Um, Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Um, and all our new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so then. Yep. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched this before, Sonia tries to do the time ins and I will try and put the thing above. Um, right there, somewhere. So we'll see how she does. She was rubbish again last week. <laughs> again, I blame the videographer. Anyway, if you like the video, please press the like button as always. Yeah, or that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, we welcome all new subscribers. And if you want to. Keep going, keep going, go on. And if you want to be notified the next time we upload a video, please press the notification icon. I bet it was perfect if you're doing that as well. So it's either there and I won't point down there like I did just now. Because that's just really. Good. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> bye for now. <laughs> bye, everyone. <laughs>